today we will be learning about percents and basically just how to put them in the calculator whether we have to add or subtract. We know that we add percents when we're dealing with tax, markups, and tips, and we subtract the percent when there is a discount. So the steps to put them in the calculator. First, you wanna type the current price. Then you're gonna press the plus sign or the minus sign, depending on whether it is a, uh, you're supposed to add the tax, markup, or tips, or subtract the discount. Then you're going to key in the discount or markup with the percent key. And lastly, you may have to press enter depending on your calculator. We will talk about that in just a second. So for number one, you have a guitar. So that guitar originally cost $500 and it is a 60% discount. So the first step is type the current price, so I want 500. Then I have to add or subtract. Because this is a discount, I know that I need to subtract. And I'm going to subtract the discount with the percent key. So this is the scratch work that I should see on your paper. So then we go to 500 minus six zero the percent key and in my calculator I get two hundred okay so I have to press two hundred so a guitar that is five hundred dollars with sixty percent off is going to give me $200 for that guitar. Now for number two, we have an MP3 player that is $28. And it is a 78% mark up. So first things first, type in the current price or the original price, which is $28. Then I have to press the adding key, addition key, I'm sorry, or the subtraction key is the markup. So I'm going to add a markup and then key in the discount or the markup with the percent key. So the markup is 78%. I'm going to write 78%. And this is what I put into the calculator. So I have 28 plus 78% key. That markup is $49.84. Now, for number one, if you got 300 as your answer, you would have to press enter. If you got 300 as your answer for number one on your calculator, then you would have to go back in and press enter. Sometimes the calculator will, will give you the amount that they're taking off. So just note this, if you got 300, then you need to press enter, okay? So I want you to try number three and number four. you try number three number four here if you got um when you did 28 plus 78 percent if you got 21.84 you will also have to press enter and reason being if i know the mp3 play costs 28 dollars and it is a 78 percent markup so if my answer is less than what i started with i know something's not right if it's a mark up your price should go up okay so now, try number three and number four, and you can pause it at this time. All 
All right, so number three, we have a lamp. That is $24, and it is an 18% markup. So when I hear markup, I know I need to add. So type in the current price, which is $24. I know I'm going to add because it is a markup. And I'm going to add the percent as it is. So 24 plus 18%. It gives me $33.04. And as always, I'm doing what? Boxing my answers. For number four, we have jeans that are $26 and it is 5% discount. So I'm gonna type in the current price or the original price. Discount. So I need I know I need to subtract. And then five percent. So twenty-six minus five percent would give me twenty-four dollars and seventy cents. In the calculator it'll say twenty-four point seven, but we're talking about money. So once again, we want to use good judgment. If you have any questions on whether your calculator, or whether you have to press enter on your calculator, you can find it out in number one. If you get 300 for number one, then that is indeed a calculator that you have to press enter after this point. Same for here, if you got $21 and some change for number two, then you will have to press enter in order to get this answer.